So, it is Wednesday morning and I've done legs on Monday, pull yesterday and I'm doing push today. Um, however, because of the shoulder injury, the recurrent shoulder injury that I have, I'm, doctor's orders, who's upstairs, physio's orders, has said to me that I should not be doing any chest and shoulders really. Right then, voice over time. So, um, I've had a review of my iPhone because I've done my G7X in for the second time. I'm on camera number two, so that was absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I'm gonna find some sort of solution to that, but I wanted to get the video out there still. Now, let's talk training. So, my training split during this next six week cycle is going to be push, pull, legs, rest, push, pull, legs, two, rest, and repeat. So it's an eight-day split, and obviously we are humans that live in a seven-day world. So I'm never going to be doing the same workout on the same day. Like, it's not going to be pushed every Monday. And speaking of that, this session that you are seeing here, I was doing a push day. Now, the problem I'm having, and like I've just said in the last clip, doctor's orders, I've tore my labrum. I've done it before, I've done it a long time ago, but every now and then it will flare up and give me the worst like pain. So every now and then I've got to take a break, I can't do any chest and shoulder movements, but tricep seems to be all right as long as nothing is too shoulder. It doesn't put too much pressure on my shoulder, doesn't like get the joint moving too much. So as you can see here, first exercise was tricep row pull downs, um, we did four sets. Or maybe, no, we did five sets of 10 to 12 reps on that. Maybe we did like the first one at like 15 or 20 just to warm the joints up and then four sets of 10 to 12. The second exercise was this sort of skull crusher complex that I've got where I do eight on one arm, eight on the other arm, and then eight reps together. Um, four sets of that. And the last exercise, which you've just seen, was a bar tricep extension on the cables. So that is my training for push day. And since I am unable to do chest or shoulders and I'm not gonna get a lot of compounds in, not gonna expend a lot of calories, this is when my most intense cardio day is gonna be, as you can see. So this was super quick, super hardcore, sort of like a CrossFit inspired workout. And this is what I'm gonna do. So cardio wise, I'm gonna do this on upper body days. So I'm gonna, on the push and the pull days, do like these 20 minute, 15 to 20 minute, CrossFit E inspired, finishers, end your life, hate your life, those sort of intense things. And on leg day, I'm gonna just stick to doing a 30 minute walk. Anywhere I want, in the countryside, somewhere nice, around town, and just expend a lot of calories. So that is the plan for cardio, that is the plan for training in general, push for legs rest, push for legs rest, eight day split, cardio, hit, hit, list, rest, hit, hit, list, and rest. And that is how we're going to get shredded. So enjoy the rest of the video. Woo. Time to eat. This is doing my head in. Look. Obviously, you just won't see this, but my flip screen is effed. So it's just upside down. So it looks weird. But anyway, black Americano, sugar free caramel are the game changers when it comes to diet. I'm going to talk about on this episode the training split that I will be implementing and how I'm distributing cardio as a tool in the next four weeks and doing what on what days. So I will be back with my whiteboard when I come back to that. But for now, I am going to cough I'm going to work, I'm going to go get changed, and we're going for a really nice meal tonight. So that is why Sarah thinks I'm crazy, but I'm nigh on, I'm fast and hot. That right there is what on meal number two meal number two 
to continue the sweet corn and sriracha obsession. Then a carb killer. And then this is, what's the time? Four o'clock? Or three, four o'clock? Something like that. Anyway, that's what I'm having. I'm gonna scroll now. Hey, Adam's vlog. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, look at, look, look at Mug's lips in the back. Spence, do you want to introduce yourself to the vlog or what? No. Nah, well, Sarah's in. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this, you might have seen this one before. But anyway, like as I've been doing these full day of eatings, the plan and why I've went so low today, I've literally got 2,100 calories left. I've only had 900 calories and it's pretty much been all protein today because we are going to a place called Tomahawk Steakhouse. I'm going to put a little clip in sometime here of the food porn. It's gonna be amazing. I've heard good things about it. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Wanna add anything to it? I'm absolutely starving and I've probably eaten more than him today. So my cut's not going so great. Anyway. So his legs today, that is what I'm training. It's Thursday. Wanna give you a quick tip for Bulgarian split squats. If you're doing them heel elevated now, People mess up because they're just not used to the foot position, they're not used to the form, they're not used to the balance. So one quick tip to do to try and set yourself up is use a strap or something that you have, your iPhone, and put it in line. Do two warm-up sets, body weight, find the correct position, the correct stride length, and put something on the floor to distinguish where your foot should be every time. So if you look at this, back foot is elevated. So that's going to be my back foot here, knee goes down, my front foot is in line with this strap here and then if you think I'm going to be tall here, holding a set of dumbbells, so I'll show you in the next set. Now you've just seen on the last clip my fasted leg day. Now I wouldn't really normally ideally do that. I would normally just do lifts or hit in the morning, then do obviously my weights, more resistance training later on the day. But got a very busy day, viewing some houses, so I'm going to show you that. And um, this is my staple breakfast if I have to train in the morning early. So my two eggs, two egg whites, omelette, two raviolis, loads of veg. And then because I've trained in the morning, I've added carbs in. So 85 grams of white chocolate cocoa pops, 150 mils of skim milk, and that is all nice and boring. But in routine, it's all going well. I had a new weigh in this morning, which was a drop. Again, even after all that filthy food last night. So it shows that it is all working. Yeah, I'm going to eat this now. Pretty little things, new neon range. <laughs> 